hi everyone welcome back to it's your beauty today i'm going to be creating this colorful eye look using the glam light paint glam light glam light cosmetic paint palette it is in this box right here brand new i've never used any of their cosmetics before but i'm gonna give it a try if you'd like to see how i created this eye look just keep watching all right so i never heard of glam light cosmetics until it came across my facebook feed and for me i'm a makeup junkie i was like what is this clicked on it tried to read the reviews because it's a lot of scams going on right now especially since everybody's at home I saw that Jeffree Star and Nikki Tutorials had done a review on a pizza and a taco or something like that because Glam Like Cosmetics, uh, their palettes come in food form. Pizza, tacos, I think I saw a hamburger, a cake, and something else. So the palette that I purchased was the paint palette and when I received it, it was $45. That's not including shipping. It took like four days it came like really really fast which is good and it came in a box like this it's their paint palette I played with it I dropped it I broke my orange I cried for five minutes and I'm okay now when you open it up and I'm make the. I'm not gonna make the same. I'm gonna make the same mistake. No, I'm not gonna make the same mistake because I'm gonna hold on to the palette. It comes like this on the inside, and the brush is over here. So you get a brush and a paint palette. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette, and it probably would have looked prettier before I dropped it but this is how the palette looks once you take it out of the box and let me try to wipe this orange off just a little bit more because I'm devastated still but it's okay and these are the colors once you open the palette again pre-dropping there's the dropped orange there so Anywho, we're gonna do some swatches. All right, so the swatches I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do three swatches at one time. So I'm gonna do the green, royal blue, and navy blue. So green first, royal blue, and navy blue. The swatches are kinda weird, a little bit. They're matte shades but that's the green green royal blue and the navy blue now i'm going to do purple fuchsia and coral so purple first fuchsia Uh, coral's not coming out, but purple, fuchsia, coral. The coral looks a little dark. It's actually not that dark. The camera's picking it up kind of dark. I'm gonna finish all the matte shades first and then I'm gonna do the glitter. So now yellow, orange, and red. My broken orange. <sighs> So, yellow, orange, red. Now, burgundy, brown, and black. Which the burgundy to me is more like fuchsia. But who am I? Just saying. It, it really, really is more like fuchsia to me. So, then you have the burgundy which looks like the fuchsia brown and black 
Now we're gonna move on to the glitter shades and I'm really liking these glitter shades. So we have light green, turquoise, sapphire, and violet. That's the light green, turquoise, sapphire, and that's the violet. They're very pigmented. Last but not least, we have the gold and the white. I'm serious. If you purchase this palette, you're going to absolutely love the glitter shades. So that's the gold and that's the white. And they are absolutely, the camera's not doing them any justice. These shades are beautiful. So now, let's create a look. I'm using my Morphe M573 brush. Of course I am. And I already primed my eyelids with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm using the Fuchsia shade. That's the first color. And on this side, I already done it. And I just noticed that you really have to kind of pack it on. I guess, I mean, I guess that's okay to pack it on. I mean, hey. Okay. Now because this palette did not come with any transition shades, I'm gonna use my Morphe E27 brush, which is this brush. And I'm going to go into the Balm palette, the Magnetic Personality, and they have a new color, just to buff out the edges where the fuchsia is. And then I'm gonna use that shade right there. Just a little, because it's a really new shade, I just wanna go over the corners of where the fuchsia and the top of my eyelid meet. Just to buff it out. Just for the harsh lines to kinda blend in to my skin. Not too much product. Second shade is the purple and I'm going to use the same brush, the 573 brush. I'm going to apply the purple into my crease. Right under the fuchsia. Now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use the same detail brush that I always use that I don't know the name of. And I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Concealer in C14. I'm going to do a full cut crease today. So I'm going to let you guys listen to some music because I will mess this up talking to you. Okay, so please enjoy the music while you wait. I might say a few words but I'm telling you I don't know how people do this kudos to you guys when you talk and cut a crease because I definitely cannot do it I already have product right there, but that's okay. I'll remove it later. I'm also going to set this with some setting powder. Off camera, I took this Real Techniques fluffy brush and I dipped it back into the purple because cutting the crease, I lost a little bit of the purple. I'm gonna take this flat brush, this flat of beta brush, and I'm going to spray it with some Neek setting spray. And I'm gonna use the light green, no, the turquoise shade. I'm gonna apply it the outer corner, the turquoise glitter 
Shade, I'm sorry, guys. And I absolutely, like I said, these glitter shades are very, very pretty. The camera does not do them any justice. I'm going to use the same Aveda brush. I'm going to spray the brush again and I'm going to dip it into the light green glitter shade and apply it right next to the turquoise, which is not turquoise to me, by the way. It just seems like it's a blue, but it's very pretty nonetheless. The last color is going to be the gold, and before I dip it in the gold, I'm going to spray my brush one more time. And I could feel the fallout from the gold. I didn't feel it from the other shades, but I definitely can feel it from the gold, even though I sprayed my brush. So that's something you guys should know. The gold has a little bit more fallout than any of the other colors because I definitely didn't feel it. I'm gonna go back in to the light green and kind of blend it over some of the yellow just to transition it better. Off camera, I applied the purple shade and the fuchsia shade to my lower lash line and also some eyeliner. The eyeliner that I'm using is still the Wet n Wild 16 hour waterproof eyeliner. And that's the one I'm gonna use for the top line. And if you know me, you know this makes me nervous, so I'm gonna get quiet. another one of these guys because this has become my favorite eyeliner so it's almost gone and where did that blue come from you see that I think it was on my hand oh uh, yeah I touched something nevertheless So the mascara that I use is still my favorite, the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. I used Max, what is it called? <laughs> the Right Note Lipstick with a little bit of MAC Clear Lip Gloss. And this is the finished look. I would say the Glam Light Palette is worth the money. The only downfall is the kickback which you get that from any other um, eyeshadow palette also the fallout from the gold which you get that from any other eyeshadow palette so it is worth the money guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm sending you guys lots of love until next time thanks for watching bye <laughs>